Hi, creative friends. Denise from Salvaged Inspirations and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you have a piece of vinyl furniture, whether it be a chair, headboard, etc., and you really like the shape of the piece, but you do not like the color, today I'm sharing how to paint vinyl furniture. It's incredibly easy to do and you're going to be amazed at the before and after. So just let me get set up and I'll be right back. Let's start. Here's the fun part. So if you've ever come across a piece of vinyl furniture that you love, but you hate the color, grab it. I was out walking my dog and my neighbor John asked me if I'd like this chair. He was putting it out on the curb for our collection. And he said it was barely used, but it didn't fit his decor anymore. So when I saw it, I really liked the size and the style of it. I immediately thought of maybe putting it in the corner of my bedroom, but I did not like the color white. Um, so here's how easy it was to change the color to fit my home decor. I started by cleaning this chair uh, with my white lightning in a spray bottle and a regular old sponge. And while I was cleaning, I made sure to spray and wipe in and around all the piping as this is where a lot of the dirt and grime can be hiding. Once I got all the dirt and grime off this chair, I made sure to run my sponge under clean water and give it a few white backs, just so I don't have any of the white lightning residue left on the vinyl before I started the paint job. Now, I'm a huge fan of white furniture. I have so much white furniture in my house, but for some reason, this style of chair, I don't know, it, it, it looked cheap to me. Uh, and it didn't suit my decor whatsoever. It was kind of cold looking. So I really wanted to warm this chair up and create a faux leather brown with some terracotta or orangey undertones. To get this look, I fooled around with a couple of paint recipes and I ended up mixing terracotta with chocolate and then I added a little bit of drop cloth to lighten it up. So creating a custom color is really easy to do. Um, there are many free online color mixers uh, online as well. Dixie Bell has a fun color mixer app um, and it's free to use. And I will leave the link down below if you want to go check that out for yourself. Now, one little caveat when mixing your own custom color, make sure you mix enough for your project. Now me, it's simple for me to eyeball it because I've been painting furniture for so many years. So I always mix up a little extra than I will need for the project at hand. But there have been times when I first started painting that I created a custom color and I did not mix up enough. And it is so hard. If you don't write down your recipe, it's so hard getting it perfectly uh, on a second round. So make sure that you mix up enough for yourself and or write down your recipe so you have it on hand. Once I was happy with my faux leather custom paint color, I used a two inch flat brush to apply my first coat of paint right onto the vinyl. Uh, I was so excited to see what this color looked like on the chair. I forgot to tape the arms and legs off with painter's tape and I ended up doing um, the masking off for my second coat of paint. So here's how easy this is. If you're using any type of chalky paint and it doesn't matter what brand you use, no additive or prep other than cleaning is needed to paint vinyl furniture. It's so simple. So on my first coat, I applied the paint 
as is and it glides onto the vinyl beautifully. I made sure to take the cushion off for easy painting and get the paint under the seat and into all the piping and corners as well. You're gonna wanna dab your paintbrush in these areas because for it to look like it was originally this color, you don't want any of the stitching or any little pieces within the piping to be left white or in my case white or the original color whatever you're working with just be sure to get your paintbrush into all the little corners nooks and crannies so you have full coverage now there's no issues with uh, the paint drying on the vinyl furniture it dries in a normal amount of time and here's how it looked after the first coat. Now I didn't get full coverage. You're still going to see some of the white vinyl underneath, but it still feels really, really soft to the touch. It feels just like the vinyl did before I put the paint on. Once the first coat had dried, I masked off the legs and the arms and I painted on my second coat. Depending on how thick your paint is or what brand of chalky paint you might be using, you might want to use a water mister uh, to dampen your brush or to spray onto the furniture when you're applying your second coat because you'll feel that it's not gliding on quite as easily uh, because there's already a base coat of paint on there. So I just took my water mister, I misted my brush a little bit uh, before I dipped it into the paint and when I found that it felt a little too thick on the cushions or on the area that I was painting, I just added a little water mist and I kept on painting on the second coat. Again, you may or or may not need this depending on the thickness of your paint. And here's how it looked with the second coat. Uh, once it had dried, I basically had full coverage. It really didn't need a third coat, although I did put a third coat on a couple of the areas. Um, however, the second coat would have been just fine. Uh, it had full coverage and it still felt very soft to the touch. As you can see, it's very pliable and it, uh, I think it looks fantastic. To finish off the chair, there were a couple of tiny touch-ups. There were a few tiny scratches on the arms and I used this trade secret touch-up marker. Um, they're so easy to use and very inexpensive. They usually come in packs of two or three, so you have different stain colors to choose from, and they work exactly like a magic marker would. You just draw on the scratches and they blend in nicely. And here's a little pro tip for you. If you're working with a dark stain and you're in a real pinch, you don't have any of these markers, try using a Sharpie. Sharpies work just as well on tiny scratches and they blend in really nicely. To seal and protect the paint on this vinyl chair, I went the lazy girl's way and used this spray on wax. And this wax could not be easier to use. You spray it on, uh, you wipe it back with a soft cloth. And it literally took me under five minutes to wax this entire chair as no buffing is required. Uh, it dries to a matte finish in 30, around 30 minutes and it cures within six hours. And this easy peasy wax is durable enough for outdoor furniture as well. So it's all finished up and here's the chair that I started with. And here's the after. And I have to say, I prefer it so much better for my home decor. I think it looks so much more warm and welcoming and it will fit into the corner of my bedroom perfectly. I'm really curious to hear which version you like better. And I hope that this has inspired you to try painting something vinyl in your home. And of course, if you find a vinyl piece of furniture that you really like the looks of, but you don't like the color, grab it because it's so easy to change the color and it can make all the difference in a piece of furniture. 
I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please give it a like down below and leave a comment because I always love hearing from you. You can also find me over at salvagedinspirations.com where I have over 500 furniture painting tutorials teaching you how to make your furniture beautiful. Until next time, I hope you have a fabulous week and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.